Performing Arts uh, uh, Series Concerts at Caldwell Community College. I'm director of the music degree program here. Um, I wanted to make a couple announcements before we get started. Uh, I want to make sure that everybody takes their electronic device and uh, either silences it or turns it off. Um, in addition to that, if you need to exit the venue for any reason, restrooms or whatever it may be, uh, please do so in between selections. So um, when you when you leave, wait till the end of a piece uh, or the end of a section, and then when you come back in as well, try to wait till you hear the end of a section so that we don't disturb the audience or the performer. Uh, our exits, we have exits right here and the one right out here in case you need it, lit up. Um, and well, that's the last thing I have to say. Uh, I was gonna ask if there's any questions, but I'm not taking any questions today. So uh, <laughs> I did wanna let everybody know it's about time to enroll for uh, summer and fall semester. So if you're interested in any music classes, uh, we have chorus ensembles open to all students and community members. We have class piano open to all students and community members. We have uh, band ensembles, music theory, oral skills, all that fun stuff. Uh, history of rock and roll. So if you're interested in any of that, uh, feel free to get in touch with myself or our, our other music professor, uh, Luke Bitten. And without any further delay, uh, Dr. Bayer Shadron. series and I'm very happy to be here. Um, first piece I will play it will be Bach over uh, French overture or French or overture in French style. It's written as um, uh, many of his suites, uh, French, uh, English suites or partitas. So it has a big overture and then it has Oranta, then Gavot, uh, Aspier, uh, Sarabanda, like all these movements which are always included in the uh, suite form. And I know that that French suite was uh, composed in the memory of his uh, Bach first wife. So that's the kind of like sad story of this. But there will be some more sad, sad stories during this concert, okay? And uh, I'll play the suites and we should have uh, all
Holy Sonata of Chopin. Uh, Frederick Chopin was born in the Gelato War near, uh, near Barca, as uh, his uh, contemporary you know, pianist. Uh, he was born in 1810, as well as the same year Robert Schumann was born. And actually, the, uh, and Ferenc Liszt, great Hungarian pianist, he was born in 1811. And that was actually time when Beethoven was living his last 17 years after this, and he composed already like his late sonatas. And uh, Beethoven, that time, was already almost dead. And uh, all his compositions, what he wrote, it was created just in his mind. And uh, this is just amazing because that was, I would consider, late sonatas or better of it, to be more romantic than uh, like first composer of Schubert, you know, Franz Schubert, who composed, you know, first romantic sonatas. And um, Chopin, he started his career as an early like, prodigy. He entered Warsaw Conservatory at age 12. And Ferenc Liszt also started studying at uh, Budapest Conservatory at age almost like 1314. And uh, Chopin was, he didn't live actually a long life. He was only 39 years old, but he died in, 19, uh, in 1849. And, uh, but back then, the capital of the world, cultural capital of the world was, what do you think? <laughs> it was Paris, of course, you know, Vienna, Berlin, but mostly it was probably Paris. Everybody would like to come, you know, to Paris to perform. And uh, now we have another capital of the world, cultural, which is what? New York. New York, of course. You know, everybody would like to come to the United States. I'm being immigrant. I came to the United States in 1996, and I came to Appalachian, uh, uh, Appalachian State University in 2000, year of 2000. And uh, so. I mean, like, I tried to, of course, I left Russia. I'm Russian. I don't look like Russia. And all Chinese people, they talk to me in Chinese <laughs> first, you know, or Koreans, you know, but no Russian recognized me as a Russian. So back then, it was like they were giving, of course, big, big recitals. And uh, as a prodigy, you know, Japan, he composed mostly for piano. There is only cello sonata. You know, he didn't compose symphonies, but only orchestral work. It was uh, written in his piano concertos, two piano concertos, which he composed at very, very early age. He was only 20, 19, 20 years old when he created second concerto, which was published second, but it actually was composed as the first one. And there is a number one concerto, which was uh, published much earlier. And also, what I would like to say that we live in 21st century, right? And we are equipped with an amazing, enormous amount of the technology, right? What we have. When I grew up in Moscow, we just had only records to go on music and actual music. This is only what source for us. Here, what we have, you're lucky actually, you have this. You have internet, right? And back then, even like living in time of Bach, he was born in 1675, died in 1750. They traveled only by what? Diligence, right? They didn't have mail, <laughs> right? Like we have, even. you know, we have email which we can transfer, you know, so, uh, transfer any information just within a second, right? They didn't have electricity. Right? They didn't have trains, planes. Right, exactly. But at the same time, how many people can compose, you know, music of that rate, you know, like Bach? Still, the mind was the same. This is what I tell my students always. You know, this is amazing because even equipped with uh, amazing technology, the uh, human brain still stays the same. You know, and uh, uh, genealogy, you know, like the genius 
human being, you know, like it's still here. Right? <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, now talking about sonata. Um, Chopin composed three sonatas. The first sonata for piano is not really played by. But there is second sonata and third sonata, opus 52. And uh, uh, this is one feature of the sonata uh, because in grammatic sonata we don't they didn't they started to transform in sonata later form uh, and uh, they are meet in the coming in recapitulation probably you learn some of you learning like sonata allegro form this is one of the basic sonata allegro forms and uh, in romantic time it started transforming because it has huge development and the coming not to main thing primary thing but straight into secondary but uh, this sonata is known also for having uh, third movement Second movement is scherzo, and uh, the third movement is uh, funeral march, and it's always played uh, like very often, you know, in brass ensemble, which sounds horrifying actually, <laughs> right? But probably not many people will know that this music came from Chopin Sonata Number no. Two, and you will hear this in uh, as a third movement in this sonata. Uh, I would say, you know, like even we use this music and for very sad, you know, tragic moments in our life, right? But Chopin, like Beethoven, also in his sonatas, he used also like funeral marches as a form. But uh, for Chopin, it is not really like I would say it's him to the life, you know, like it's especially like second uh, half, uh, like second half middle part.